guys, so I do want to talk about this printer some more. Um, um, oh my gosh, where to start? So I um, apologize for the previous video of saying this is a good printer. Um, they are sending me out a new head because I have literally tried everything. I have updated this thing. I have set all the settings to factory settings um, from their actual website on Cura to print things. And I keep having the same problem where it looks like it's under extruding around corners. Everything else looks good. Like the back of this is amazing. But every time it goes around a corner into anything or before it even starts a corner sometimes, it just starts screwing up. And like, I have printed all of these, like all of these. And um, the thing is, is one thing I've noticed doing this, I have printed these out in anywhere from 14 to 16 minutes. And they all have the same spot where they mess up. It's like right under the eyeball. Let me show you. Right there see there's little lines there every single one of them no matter what I do does that sorry I'm bobbing around everywhere every single one of them like I said I've tried everything I've tried turn up um, the flow rate I've tried um, turn it down retraction you know I mean you got to have retraction you have to have retraction so but even turning retraction off it does this so it just blows my mind what is going on with this printer. Um, I mean, I could show you more prints, but what's the point? Like, I have tried so many different things. I can't even remember a quarter of the things I have tried to do to fix this problem I'm having. Different filament. Made sure my filament was dry. Changed the tip out. Um, and another thing I don't like about it, the cooling is really bad. And let's go back to what I was saying, the 14 to 16 minutes print times. My longer, this one's advertised to go fast up to 150 millimeters a second. My longer LK1 can punch one of those things out in 13 minutes, zero problems. Absolutely no problems. Better cooling in 13 minutes. The same exact print, no problems, one minute faster. So can I recommend this computer, this computer, this printer right now? No, I don't want to recommend that. So I'm, I want to just take down my other video. I guess I'll put updated on there, whatever. Um, the like, I would recommend, like I said, the longer LK1 is faster. Just get, you know, I mean, I know it's old and still has the box on it or whatever, and it looks silly. It is a way better printer. The only thing this printer has going for it is this. Like, buy a longer LK1 and put this on it, and you've got a better printer. It's got better cooling, it prints faster, it gets hotter, I believe. Um, like, I insulated the bed on my longer LK1 for better temps. Oh, the only thing I miss is this. I love this plate. This plate, <laughs> this plate does not make this printer worth the price, though. I mean, the longer LK1 is, what, like 10 bucks more or something? It's like 200 bucks versus this is like 189. Um, and then the direct drive. But, like, maybe it's the direct drive's fault, so... I'll update this video later too once I get a new head put on this and see if that fixes the problem, but that's not going to solve the cooling problem, which the cooling on this is absolute garbage. I hate it. Like, I didn't notice it at first because I was printing bigger prints, but like doing the small little print, oh my god, like just the whole bottom ass of it looks like shit, you know? And then it gets bigger and then the cooling works, you know, better again after that. Um, but it just has those artifacts, you know, around the corners and stuff, or lettering, or whatever. I don't know what's causing it. Like, like I said, I have spent days and hours doing those little prints, trying to dial that out of there with so many different settings, and like I said, updating this thing, and making sure the settings were exactly set to the manufacturer's specifications, and slowing print down, and changing the nozzles out, and just doing everything, you know, increasing the flow rate. Couldn't fix it. Just couldn't fix it. So, can I recommend this printer? Hell no. Hell to the no. Sorry, Anycubic. This thing 
is it's just going into a fucking e-bin you know if you want this hit me up you know you pay for shipping and you can have it for you know 20 bucks <laughs> all right um you know yeah bye and I watched plenty of other people's YouTube channels on this printer, and one guy was super amazing. Um, I wish I could remember his channel. I'm gonna have to go back to my watch list and link the video. The dude makes a sock knitting machine. It is super awesome. But I wasn't there for the sock knitting machine. I wanted to see the printer. So, you know, I was like looking at his prints, and his prints had the same problems. Like, because it's, you know, in big prints like this, you know, it looks super nice. But you go looking inside of it, and it's like all around these corners. Like this one is like for sure by the seam, but it does it around this corner. Just all the corners, just randomly up in here. You know, just, and you know, it is going to affect the rigidity of the, of the print, I'm sure. You know, so I can't just say, oh, that's cosmetic. Because, you know... It's going to, for sure. I mean, anytime your filament's not properly extruded and put down to make one solid piece. But yeah, his prints looked the same way. You know, I mean, it's workable. You can use it and make stuff out of it, you know, but you're gonna have that problem everywhere. That's so, that's why I'm just like, I can't recommend it. Cause like my longer LK1, like I said, flawless prints. Flawless. Love them. They're beautiful. Come out solid. It's just compared to this. Yeah, and this is slower. So, yeah, you know, spend 10 extra bucks, get a better printer. You know, I mean, and that's an older printer, like I said, but it's faster, it's bigger, you know, it's better. Anyways, um, yeah, and th these aren't my first two printers. You know, I had the, the Creality V2 or whatever it was, and I didn't really like that one either. You know, especially at the price point, so it's whatever. Um, it's your decision, your call, just so you know, but that's what you're going to be looking at. All right, bye.